Hello everyone. Welcome to Mastermind. Today let us learn about James Webb Space Telescope. Before we proceed to learn about James Webb Space Telescope, let us know what is a telescope? What is a telescope in the first place? A telescope is an optical instrument. Remember this is a keyword whenever it comes to telescope. A telescope is an optical instrument using lenses curved mirrors a telescope is an optical instrument using lenses curved mirrors or a combination of both to observe distant objects to observe distant objects a telescope is used so a telescope is an optical instrument using lenses curved mirrors or a combination of both to observe distant objects or various devices used to observe distant objects by their emission everybody emits radiation you should know this so the radiation electromagnetic radiation by the way of absorption or emission or reflection the radiation emitted by a body is observed through a telescope in order to derive information about the body being observed so basically this is all about telescope now let us see what is james webb space telescope what is it going to replace James Webb Space Telescope is a large infrared telescope with an approximately 6.5 meter primary mirror. So this is very important. You will have to remember this. James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared telescope with a 6.5 meter primary mirror. James Webb Space Telescope is a result of an international collaboration between NASA, European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency. So this is also very important. The telescope is the result of an international collaboration between NASA, European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency. The telescope was launched on Ariane 5 rocket. Remember this, Ariane 5 rocket from French Guyana in December. So you'll have to remember all these points. James Webb Space Telescope is a large infrared telescope with an approximately 6.5 meter primary mirror. James Webb Space Telescope is a result of an international collaboration between NASA, European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency. It was launched on Ariane 5 rocket. James Webb Space Telescope is going to replace Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble Space Telescope is NASA's flagship telescope that has been in service for more than three decades now. So it has been in service for more than 30 years. This Hubble Space Telescope is going to get replaced by James Webb Space Telescope. This is another important piece of information you will have to remember. James Webb Space Telescope was formerly known as Next Generation Space Telescope and it was renamed in September 2002. It was renamed in September 2002 after a former NASA administrator, James Webb. So, it was named after former NASA administrator, James Webb. You will have to remember this as well. James Webb Space Telescope was formerly known as Next Generation Space Telescope, NGST, and it was renamed in September 2002 after the NASA administrator James Webb. Now, let us proceed to understand important features of James Webb Space Telescope, how it is going to be an improved version of Hubble Space Telescope. So, let us see what is what are the important features of James Webb Space Telescope now. We have seen till this point that James Webb Space Telescope is a large infrared telescope. Now let us see why was this improvement made? Why was James Webb Space Telescope made an infrared telescope? Earlier, the Hubble Space Telescope, Hubble Space Telescope used to observe the celestial bodies in ultraviolet and visible range. Ultraviolet and visible. However, now the James Webb Space Telescope is viewing the distant objects through infrared wavelengths. So why is this improvement made? We all know that the celestial bodies or stars emit radiation. They emit light. Now consider the spectrum of visible light as shown in this figure. In this spectrum, frequency increases in this direction. That is, frequency increases as we move from red to violet, while wavelength increases in this direction. That is, as we move from violet to red, the wavelength increases. So, whenever a star or a celestial body emits light, it can have radiation emitted along this spectrum, entire spectrum. It could be even in X-ray, it could be ultraviolet, it could be infrared, it could be visible light. 
earlier hubble space telescope used to observe the space bodies or the celestial bodies in the ultraviolet or in the visible light spectrum so now please concentrate on this picture here we have this picture this particular picture which was taken in the visible range spectrum however the picture adjacent to this this particular picture is taken in the infrared spectrum so you can see that we given the uh, video or the when the image was taken through infrared range we have more stars appearing whereas when it was taken in the visible range spectrum we have very less stars appearing so you will have to understand one more concept when it comes to this particular anomaly why why when infrared cameras are used or why when infrared capacity is used we get more details in the picture whereas when we use visible range spectrum we get less details in order to understand this we will have to understand one concept called as red shift red shift so what is red shift red shift is a key concept for astronomers this is a term that can be understood literally the wavelength of a light is stretched so the light is seen as shifted towards the right part of the spectrum so whenever a celestial body emits light usually it will be in the ultraviolet or the x-ray region or any region in the spectrum whereas as the light travels millions of light years the wavelength of the light or the electromagnetic radiation gets shifted towards the infrared region towards this region so now the light contains information coming in this region or the light is vibrating at a wavelength equal to that of infrared so we will have to capture the light that is vibrating at infrared wavelengths hence in order to capture this light we will have to use telescope that employs infrared telescope or the telescope that uses infrared cameras hence james webb space telescope is using infrared telescope so the picture appearing on the screen here the visible part was captured by hubble space telescope and this infrared was also captured by hubble space telescope the picture you are seeing is nothing but monkey head nebula it's monkey head nebula it was taken by hubble this was captured in the visible spectrum this was captured in the infrared range so i am telling you all these things because we have to understand that hubble space telescope contained or it had it possessed limited infrared capability now let us look at the major improvement another major improvement of james webb space telescope over hubble space telescope this is the size of the mirror remember size of the mirror you can see it in the picture as well the size of hubble's primary mirror and the comparison between uh jwst or james webb space telescopes mirror so this is the difference so now let us see let us try to understand the difference webb has a much bigger mirror when compared with that of hubble space telescope the larger now we'll have to understand one more question why the larger size of mirror is going to matter because this larger light collecting area whenever the size of the mirror is greater then it means that the potential to collect the light is larger we have to understand that in space observations light is information hence larger light larger light collecting capability means larger light collecting capability means more information so larger light cap collecting capability leads to more information that means james webb space telescope can peer farther back into time it can peer farther back so this is the major point why larger size of mirror has been employed in james webb space telescope so that james webb space telescope can peer farther back in time so this is another major improvement and you will have to remember this as well large size of mirror now let us proceed towards another major improvement or another major difference between james webb space telescope and hubble space telescope that is the orbit hubble hubble space telescope was very close to earth you can see this in the figure as well hubble space telescope is very very close to uh, earth it was only about 570 km away from earth so hubble space telescope was only 570 km away from earth it used to orbit around the earth at a distance of 570 km whereas when it comes to james webb space telescope this is orbiting up around 1.5 million kilometers away from earth 
and James Webb Space Telescope is situated at a point called as Lagrange point L2 Lagrange point 2 so now we will have to understand what is Lagrange point we this is a very important concept and you will have to understand this very well because this can be asked in multiple choice questions as well so Lagrange points are the positions Lagrange points are the positions between two bodies between two bodies where the gravitational pulls where the gravitational pulls well let us say this is sun and this is earth both have gravitational pulls so if the particular body gets into the gravitational influence of sun it gets attracted towards sun whereas if it gets within the gravitational sphere of earth it gets attracted towards earth so lagrange point is such a point between two bodies wherein the gravitational pull of two larger masses precisely equals the centripetal force precisely equals the centripetal force required that is gravitational pull of two large masses precisely equals the centripetal force required for a small object to move with them these points in space can be used by spacecraft to reduce fuel consumption so we can understand why lagrangian point is employed because it reduces fuel consumption needed to remain in that position so lagrange points are positions in space where objects sent there tend to stay put that is if you position a body in the lagrange point then it tends to stay in that particular position only that's why lagrange points are employed we can see the relative position of hubble space telescope and web in this particular picture see hubble space telescope is orbiting or was orbiting around 570 kilometers away from earth whereas james webb space telescope is at a distance of 1.5 kilometers away from earth at l2 moon is just 384400 kilometers away from earth now let us proceed to see what are the uses of james webb space telescope james webb space telescope will be the premier observatory of next decade so for the coming decade the universe will be observed through james webb space telescope it will be serving thousands of astronomers worldwide it will study every phase in the history of our universe ranging from first luminous glow after big bang theory big bang theory is very very important so it is going to study every phase in the history of our universe ranging from first luminous glows after the big bang to the formation of solar systems solar systems capable of supporting life on planets like earth to the evolution of our own solar system secondly it will enable a broad range of investigations in the field of astronomy and cosmology so it will enable broad range of investigations in the fields of astronomy and cosmology including observation of some of most distant events and objects in space like formation of first galaxies detailed atmospheric characteristics of potentially habitable exoplanets etc next the web's biggest feature is a tennis court sized five layer sun shield it has got five layer sun shield five layer sun shield that attenuates heat from the sun more than a million times when compared with that of hubble space telescope hence the telescope's four instruments cameras and spectrometers have detectors that are able to record extremely faint signals so that means the accuracy of the signals that are obtained will be greater so this is all about james webb space telescope please go through the video multiple times because this is a very important topic and it can be asked in any examination ranging from police constable examination to upsc mains examination so please refer to the article as well and try to get conceptual clarity as much as possible thank you